Hello, welcome to Google Cloud again. Today we're going to talk about Firestore. We're going to connect that with a Spring Boot application. Okay, first thing I did, I created a Firestore service account. I already downloaded the key. And here I create two collections, books and expenses. Now I'm going to show you guys the product very fast. Hey, here's the poem, etc. Whatever we have to show you guys. I have the right resources. I have the key JSON that I downloaded, the YAML. Here's the poem using the first store starter and the web for the Spring Boot and Swagger and Longbook. Okay. Where else I have the YAML? The key JSON I have a shot. This is the poem I showed you guys. Here's the key JSON. Here's the YAML. Firestore, GCP Firestore, the YAML, I downloaded the service account. Okay, now let's go to the Java side. It's going to show the entity and the application. Running the application, I'm going to create the inside the collection books. I'm going to create the document books. And I'm, I'm going to change on the fly code, whatever. Uh, so that I want to show you guys. One second here. In that case, this is the application YAML file. I'm going to create books. Score one. Okay. Let's compile that. I'm going to clean install. Oh. Okay. So this we can close. Oh, okay. Now let's show the entity itself. A repository. In a while. Okay. Let's see. It's already. It's going so slow. I don't like that. Mm, not responding. Why the hell? Okay. Let's be patient and wait. That's something I was not supposed to do during the video. But I am patient and wait. I have patience and wait. Okay. Now let's run that. Let's run on 9000. Here I have books. I inserted book one and book two, running all of that books. This is the document. This is the collection and document. Okay. The, when I can show you guys on the entity as it loads. Once you have your identity, becomes your document and your collection name. So collection name and your document. This is a collection name, the document. And here's your document, all the fields. Okay. The AED you should not use for updating, doing everything you thing to do. About the CRUD, this I can close, whatever. It's just my entity with the document entity and the document is collection name, etc. Okay, this is long book for not using getters and setters and avoiding constructors. Okay, let's we can close that. Okay, it should be. Let's try to see with this to get that. Okay, we just insert books one. Okay, let's change the code itself. Books underscore two. Okay, let's put some x or seven seven. No. Should change. Okay, all the code I need, whatever. You can close that. Trying to stop that. We, can, we don't need to install since it's just a single product without any other dependencies and other, but to, to double check. Anyway, you saw how simple it is to insert and to insert into a Firestore database, which is NoSQL. This is the um, is a direct store in Firestore mode. Okay. And uh, by the document, you should be able to read or write. That's what's written on the on the logs, so I, I can maybe I can show, show the code itself. But I, let's show show the code for being sure of that. All right, it's loading. 
code. Okay, so this is compiling. What I did on the application. So for my common runner, read from up, write, read, etc. Okay, so in that case, I read the book based on the class. I get from the my object, the collection and the object. So I'm reading book. This one, that's you can see on the log what I try to read. That's what's the collection book we have, the document book we have, document book. James Bills 971. James Bills 971. Okay, mm, let's try to access. I drop this one, yeah. I think I should have an title one. And let's just double check that to end the video. If you have any question, the basic thing I have to do is use the first store object, which makes it pretty simple to do all the process, or you can use the first store using this the spring spring jar that gives you a very re reactive repository, like similar to something like JPA, the behavior of development. No, right, is there any news? But I tried to set up the port. Uh, okay, when I didn't, I didn't mean that to use the AD port. Well, that doesn't work in a sense. One second, I'm gonna drop the virtual machine and let's run again. I could change a saw here. Oh. oh, we can run here. No. It's so fast today. We're in configurations. 2007, close, let's change something here, let's put book 3 or 4. OMG, how fast it is. Let's double check our collections. Also, for expense, I just inserted one. Yeah, okay, let's go back to books. Still going up. You're on eighty thousand seven. We just inserted this one. Yeah. It's up or not? Takes a bit. Oh, okay. And now I intend to insert my. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just inserted it. Great. So 
That's how simple it is to connect to Firestore using the Firestore object. I can, can show you guys where, where that is. Firestore. You can do all the actions. Very, very simple. Well, thanks for watching. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.